another calculus assignment. It's so hard. What do I need to do just to answer this? I'm done with this. I give up. Hey Cheska, do you mind if I sit beside you? I have to do my basic calculus homework. What is that? Are you tired of trial and error on your mathematical problems? Are you frustrated on answering basic calculus? We have a solution for you! Before we proceed, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel! The Limit of Constant Theorem The limit of a constant as x approaches to any constant is always equal to any given constant. Example, the limit of constant 2 as x approaches to any constant is equal to 2. Limit of function The limit of the function x as x approaches to any constant is always equal to the constant. Limit of x as x approaches to k is equal to k. Example Limit of x as x approaches to 9 is equal to 9. The limit of constant and function In order to find our limit, we have to follow three steps. Number one, express the limit of a constant and function and the limit of a function x. Second, find the limit of the function based on the given value of x. And third, simplify the resulting of the numbers. Example, the limit of constant multiplied by f of x as x approaches to any constant is equal to constant multiplied by f of x as x approaches to any constant is equal to 8 multiplied by 4 is equal to 32. Limit of summing difference of a function. Limit as x approaches to a, f of x plus and minus d of x is equal to limit of f of x as x approaches to a plus and minus limit of d of x as x approaches to a. Example, limit as x approaches to 1 is equal to 3x minus 5. We need to substitute the value of x to 1. Limit 3 times 1 minus limit is equal to 3 times 1 minus 5. And the answer will be negative. Limit of a product of a function. Limit as x approaches to k, f of x times g of x is equal to limit as x approaches to k, f of x times limit g of x as x approaches to k. We have here the example. Limit as x approaches to 1 is equal to g of x times 5. The answer will be 15x. Limit of power of a function is defined as limit of f of x raised to n as x approaches k is equal to limit of f of x approaches k raised to n. Our example is limit of x raised to 4 as x approaches 3 is equal to 81. Limit of root of a function. Limit of square root of f of x as x approaches k is equal to square root limit of f of x as k x approaches k. Our example is limit square root of x as x approaches a is equal to 2 square root of 2. Limit of a quotient of a function. Limit as f of x approaches a is equal to f of x over g of x is equal to limit limit of f of x over g of x as x approaches to a. Example. Limit of x squared minus 4 as x approaches to 2 over x squared plus x minus 6. And the answer will be d and e are just not exist. x 
exponential function example. We will construct the table of values for f of x is equal to exponential function raised to x. We start by approaching the number 0 from the left or through the values less than but close to 0. From the table, limit exponential function raised to x is equal to 1. Now, we consider approaching 0 from its right or through values greater than but close to 0. Combining the two one-sided limits allows us to conclude that limit exponential function raised to x is equal to 1 as x approaches to 0. Logarithmic functions are the inverses of exponential functions. Much of the power of logarithms is their useful solving exponential equation. We will now have our example. Evaluate limit of natural logarithm as x approaches to 1. We will construct the table of values for f of x of natural logarithm. We first approach the number 1 from the left or through the values less than but close to 1. Intuitively, limit of natural logarithm is equal to 0. Now, we consider approaching 1 from its right or through values greater than but close to 1. Limit of natural logarithm is equal to 0. As the values of x get closer to 1, the values of f of x get closer and closer to 0. Limit of natural logarithm is equal to 0 as x approaches to 1. We now consider the common logarithmic function of f of x equals to log 10 raised to x. Recall that f of x is equals to log 10 raised to x is equals to log x. Trigonometric functions are real functions which relate an angle of a right angle triangle to ratios of two side lengths. 